Hello everyone, we're going to do an Akoya guest demonstration and show you how easy as the user to use this software. So the first thing we're going to do is use our Firefox web browser, go in and put our Akoya guest link in and go to the URL. This URL is unique to you and will connect to either another Akoya guest user or any uh, Digigram codec or third party codec. Now we've made our connection. We know this because we have a green call button ready to go. And a couple things you're going to notice. We have a mute button, we have our mixer, and we have our settings. So we go to the settings, we can choose stereo or mono, and we can choose our streaming option. So I'm going to choose 128. If we want to use the input options, we have DSP for echo cancellation, gain control, and noise suppression. And we also get to choose what our input device is. So let me show you that by first activating my mixer. And I will get a pop-up that will show me, do I want to use the internal microphone or an audio interface? Any of my devices that I have connected to my computer presently. I'm going to choose the Babyface Pro and hit allow. And we immediately can see that I have meters. I will be able to control the level of my microphone right here. So if people want me to be louder or softer, I can do that. And if I want to broadcast, I simply use the broadcast button. If I want to use music files, I can load them. So I'll just put in a couple of audio files that are already on my computer. And they're kind of in the queue. And when I'm ready to broadcast these, I simply choose the broadcast button. You'll also notice there's a little listening ear icon. This is how you listen in your own headphones or speakers, whatever you're using. So if I want to hear the music, that's how I do that. And I can also put it in looping mode. Now, to make the call, you hit the green call button. And when you want to hang up the call, you hit that button again. It'll turn red. And that's how you know the call is working. So we're going to make a call. And now we're getting the music coming back from our colleague or whoever we're connecting to. And then if I wanted to play music, I could simply do that. And they would hear the music. Uh, and I can do a mix of music and playback files all in my Akoya guest window. If I'm using an audio interface, I can use my audio interfaces features in order to play other desktop audio applications, including DAWs, PowerPoint presentations, videos, etc. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.